Hi, this is Rick from Rick's Motorsport Electrics. Uh, previously, we talked about checking a stator. Now we're going to check a rectifier regulator on this bike. It's a 94 Honda Magna. It's a three-phase permanent magnet system. Pretty much all you can do to check the rectifier regulator is check the diodes. The regulator portion of that uh, can't be checked by the home mechanic. But we'll do that. We'll check out what we can, and uh, you'll have an insight as to how the system works. Okay, before you do any electrical work on the bike, you need to make sure that you're careful of any exposed wires. Be careful you don't get shocked. Be careful of any of the pipes that might still be hot. And be careful that there's no fuel leaks. The other thing you want to make sure you do before you attempt any kind of repair work is dig out that manual, get in there, read it, know what you're doing before you get the tools going. Okay, let's go. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is, is to check to see if the motorcycle is actually charging. As you can see right here, this is a battery at rest. Anywhere from 12.5 to 12.7, 12.8 is a battery at rest. I'm going to start the bike up, and you're going to see what happens when the motorcycle is charging. You can see it already is already up over uh, 13 volts. I'm going to raise the RPM a little bit. Okay, so for convenience sake, we removed the rectifier regulator from the bike. You don't have to do that. We just did that for this uh, video. First thing you want to do is get your meter and turn it to the diode function, which is that right there. All right, you don't have to worry about what the meter reads. You kind of this has a diode tone function. Okay, so for the f positive diodes, you stick the positive probe in the positive output and check all three stator inputs. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Now we reverse the bias on that. Now you should hear a tone on all three of these. Yep. Yep. And yep. Okay, that, the positive diode board is correct. Now we're going to do the negative diode board. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Reverse bias. There, good, good. Okay, both diode boards are good, and that is pretty much the extent of any testing you can do on the solid-state rectifier regulator. Okay, so if you were having charging issues with your motorcycle, I hope this video helped you out. You might want to check out our other video on how to check a stator, and uh, thanks for watching.